Hello there, and welcome to yet another video. Uh, today, I'm going to be building a spider dragon. Who knows what that is? <laughs> I'm going to be mixing a... an arachnorock spider with Archaeon. Like, <laughs> who knows how well that's going to go? I, I don't even know, so uh, I guess we'll have to see see how I get on. I don't know, it could go hor horribly wrong. Uh, I could completely abandon this video, but uh, who knows? We'll just have to wait and see uh, what happens. <laughs> anyway, let's 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 get into it. <laughs> so. Here we have everything that we're going to need, or I mean, pretty much everything we're going to need for the day. Uh, so we obviously have Archaeon and an Arachnorok here, which is going to be the main bulk of the conversion. Uh, I've got some spare bits here. Uh, a lot of them from the um, Bastion Carthalos breakdown, which I also did, if you want to go check that out. Uh, a head. Uh, got some tools. Got some crackle paint. We'll definitely need that for some cat filling. Uh, I've got a base. Uh, we've got some slate. And a bunch of sprues. Uh, we've got some orc sprues, some stormcast stuff. Uh, we've got this guy we're going to put on the base. Uh, and yeah, some uh, ogres and stuff as well. But we'll get into that. Some of it we'll use, some of it we won't. But uh, we've got it here if we need it. So we're going to start how we always do. And carefully open the packaging. Get these sprues out. Don't need that base. Oh, hello. So in the instructions, we're gonna go to this stage here, and then from there, that's when we'll start to deviate and do some do some fun stuff. So let's 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 do that. <laughs> So as you can see, we're at this stage in the instructions now, uh, except I've not put the claws or the hooves on. Uh, I've got a separate plan for that later, but we'll we'll get to that. So now that we have the base shape for the actual dragon itself, we're gonna work on the base. Uh, so we've got to work out how we want him to be standing. Uh, we have this here from the, one of the terrain sets, which I'm gonna use in the base. I'm gonna have it roughly sort of like there, should sort of stand on that. And I've got a big old thing of slate here, the standard slate, which will fill some gaps in, and we'll do that. Okay, so we're gonna get this bit, and we're gonna have it sort of roughly on there like that. So he can be uh, standing on it. That'll look real good. So we're gonna look for the contact points, which is like here, one in there, and that elbow. And we're gonna put some, put some glue there. And stick that roughly there. About that, double check. That's where I want it to be. Yeah, that will do. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get this slate and see what ones we're gonna use. Uh, so we like the look of this big bit. But maybe like under there. In there looks good. It will help fill out and sort of build up the base and as well as like keeping it weighted down so it won't get uh, tipped over quite so easily. So we like the look of that there. Yeah, it's harder to tell the contact points with something uh, like this. So we're just gonna put a bunch roughly there. We'd rather use too much than too little, I say. So next we're gonna grab, uh, let's go for this one. I think that fits quite well in there. Chuck some glue down. Got to make sure to keep the base level as well. You don't want that glue dripping. I've learned that the hard way. Uh, so then let's, let's grab like a chunky one. Yeah, pop that in there. And always see like what way round. Want like a fairly flat bit to be on the base. So it'll dry the best. Yeah, let's put that one there. So now we're going to grab this one. I think I'm going to try and line that up in there. So some glue on. It's going to be a bit hard for some of the contact points but what you can do if the glue is thin enough you can just sort of put some in there 
sort of over the contact point as opposed to like in between. And another one in here as well. So that's the base done. We're gonna fill some other little gaps in later. We'll get to that. Right, now we're gonna move on to the Arachnorok. So again, carefully remove the packaging. And the base. Uh, we'll need some of this. Oh, a little base there. Uh, this sprue doesn't really have anything that we're gonna need. For the most part, so we can get rid of that. Uh, and this, this is what we need. So, we're gonna go to roughly here in the instructions, but just for the back part, not the, not the head. And as well, we only need the back part for now, so I'm gonna make a cut along round there uh, on both sides, so we can just isolate the, uh, the, the butt. <laughs> okay, so now we got this bit done. That's all armored and ready to go. We plan, basically, <laughs> put that on there. Uh, so yeah, it would be like a cool spider dragon. So what we've got to do now is we've got to work out uh, how to get the most contact around that gap as possible. So, we're going to remove this here. We're going to remove this here. See where we're at? We're going to remove this bit here. See where we're at? Then we'll just uh, glue it on. So, while that's drying, let's build the head. Okay, so now we've got the head built. Got to work out how it's going to go onto the body. But we can't really do that until the rider goes here so we know how big the, the head hole is. So let's do that. So now the main body's built, we're going to put this shoulder pad and this shield uh, on him to make it a bit more uh, destruction-y. So now for the head, we're going to get a Forge World White Scar head, which I'm very much a fan of. I'm going to put one of these mohawks on there uh, to make it look cool, basically. So we're going to cut this little bit off here, we don't need that. Then yeah, we're just going to whack it on, try and get it central, obviously. Next we're going to put this other shoulder pad and uh, this, this funky weapon on here as well. Uh, if you want a bit more insight into how I sort of pick and go through like what weapons and shoulder pads to do, that's on my other video for uh, Bastion Carthalos, so you can go check that out. What we're going to do as well, real quick, we're going to stick this uh, pad on here as well. Look even more chunky. And what I have done, I have actually left the orc hand on here, but I sh don't, 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 uh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> and then finally, we're going to put this little emblem. Well, not really that little. But we're going to put that on there, and uh, this little one on his on his chest instead of the three skulls you'd normally have. So now it's really starting to come together now. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to test that on the base uh, where it's going to sit. I probably want it a bit further back than I originally thought. So more kind of there. Uh, so I'm probably gonna need to put a rock uh, about there. And then I want them kind of both looking to their left to give us some like, don't really know the word. But anyway, we're gonna do that and it will look good, hopefully. So let's glue this rock on here. Chuck some glue in there. So I did say earlier not to glue the hooves on because I had a plan, but um, I thrown out the plan out the window. So uh, <laughs> we've glued those on and we're gonna have that foot go right in there, nice and stable. And then have that go about there. So we're gonna need another rock, let's test it. A bit about there. Oh, well, we can't really see there, but trust me, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna glue that on. Just glue in there. And then uh, let that bad boy dry. So now we're gonna sit the main head on. Uh, we stuck this head on, cause that's, you know, easy. Uh, so really we want the back of this to be going right up to the back of there, fill that gap in, and then it, the rest of it should just slot in. So we need to get rid of this bit here. So already that's gonna fit a bit better. We remove the bottom of here. Nearly there. We're gonna move the bottom of this bit here. So that's gonna fit in fairly well there. Uh, these parts where the legs would go, we're gonna shave that down. Uh, 
Uh, we don't really need to the other side because it's going to be uh, covered up. But we'll remove this bit here. Then we need to get rid of this ridge here, make that a bit smoother. Okay, so now, <laughs> that was weird. So now uh, we've got that all sort of cut and put into place, we're just gonna put some glue in. Just gonna put glue over where all the contact points are, all in there. So while that's drying, I'm gonna start working on the wings. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, before it gets a bit too complicated, we're gonna put some more sort of cosmetic bits on. So we're gonna put this back banner roughly there, sort of fill this space that we've got here. So put that on roughly there. And we've got some light little shields from uh, uh, mostly Dominion that we're gonna put on. Uh, cover up some of these chaos -y symbols I put on there and there and whatnot. So uh, let's do that. So what we're going to work on now is uh, the hands, uh, but we're not going to give them regular hands, we're going to give them like, well, spider hands. <laughs> so um, yeah, we're going to work out how to sort of get these on there to make it look good. So let's just cut it off and let's see if this fits. Yeah, I'm good with that. So let's do the same with the other one. So let's just glue the one. And now the other one. Now that those are glued on, uh, we're going to put some smaller ones on as well because you can never have too many legs. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to put these bigger ones on this section here. On that, same on the other side. And then the smaller ones can go on this little flat bit. Yeah, like that. So we're going to, need to trim off these square bits and these and smooth over that. But uh, yeah, let's do it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna smooth down this part, just like that. I'm gonna see the angle that you want this arm to be, which is about there. So we just wanna cut the leg where it all perfectly-ish. Uh, sit at that angle, let's hope. That works, so yeah, just like that. Okay, so I've stuck all these extra arms on now. Uh, but I had a little fun idea to put this shield behind there. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Gonna chuck some glue behind here and pop it in. Okay, so we're basically done now. But uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover up any gaps that we won't be able to cover with uh, crackle paint. So it's basically just this one here, because that's not gonna be able to have that filled. You'll see in a minute. Uh, I think, yeah, that's that is the only one, isn't it? So uh, we're gonna actually take, do some recycling here, but one of the hands that we cut off and that actually just fits pretty well in there. So we're just gonna chuck some glue around it and there we go. Right, so here we have our crackle paint. This beautiful, beautiful crackle paint. Uh, I like the one in the uh, squirty bottle like this. Uh, just because it's easier for this kind of thing. I'm just gonna put in all these little gaps. And like uh, here, with the kind of transition between there, it doesn't look great now. So I'll just use that to uh, use a crackle paint to cover that up. Uh, and this gap up here that we just filled in and all sorts of other bits. Let's do it. Okay, so now this is all dry. Uh, we're going to glue it to the base, pretty much. Uh, I did forget to do these bits here because uh, I'm an idiot. So I'll go back and do those later. But uh, we're gonna stick it here. I was originally gonna have it like that, because that'd be quite secure, because that foot's going right in that gap there. But I think I can get a better pose with it uh, like that. So we're gonna sort of wedge that foot back there. So I'm just gonna cut down this hoof. Hoof, hoof, hoof. That's uh, so how it's the right uh, kind of size and shape. That to go back there. 
and then we're just gonna this won't be the best angle for the camera but uh, i'm just gonna hold it like that the position that i want and we're just gonna put some glue uh over the top really i'll probably need to do a few layers layers of glue <laughs> Uh, we do not want that snapping, but it's the one contact point. So like that, just gonna hold that for 11 hours. And here he is, all done, ready to paint. Uh, so if you wanna see it painted, you can head over to my Instagram, which will be linked, linked down below. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's, that's him, it's him all good. Thumbs up. <laughs> we did it, we did it. We made, we made a spider dragon. <laughs> I should have mentioned as well, this is for my uh, destruction themed Stormcast army, which uh, you can check out on my Instagram down below, uh, which would be cool. Uh, so it, I'm gonna be using it as a Knight Draconis. I think that's what it's called. Uh, it might be a little bit big, but you know what? It's, it'll be fine. <laughs> You should have seen my war bottom bike from a few years ago, if you think that's too big, like, <laughs> So, you know, by comparison, at least, it'll be fine. Don't need to worry about it. <laughs> so my next video, if you're interested, will be on, I'm gonna do like three different basing schemes uh, for like a bunch of different, different things. And you can check that out on my Patreon. If you're watching this on YouTube now, then it'll be on my Patreon right now. So you can watch that immediately. So I'll be posting pictures of this project fully finished on my Instagram, which again is linked, linked down below if you want to check that out. Uh, so look forward, look forward to, to, to seeing that if, if you want to, you know. I mean, you've watched this far, so come on. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So, until next time, uh, every, every time I never think of a thing to say, <laughs> that, that's, that is today's video done and, and uh, until, until next, ne until next time, uh, the cup. <laughs> uh, I need to stop doing these under the, under the influence really to be honest but uh yeah the, the, the cut cut <laughs>